50 million homes already have a smart speaker. And you know, by 2020, half of us will be doing most of our search by voice. I'm Dosha Stewart, Chief Marketing Officer of Allegiant Ventures, and I'm joined by John Goodwin, who is a principal at our fund. He's also an expert on the user experience and on systems architecture. John will talk with us about the transformative power of this technology, voice technology, and how it reduces friction in our admittedly convenience-focused culture. Yeah, so we're talking a lot right now about voice, how convenient voice is in kind of the IoT world. Yeah, voice is raising a lot of questions around security and how we improve that level of security. Any kind of thoughts on that, Chris? Uh, yeah, I mean, so it's, it, it's a good question because you're right that when you look at you know, some of these emerging voice ecosystems today, um, a lot of the ways those are being secured is, is kind of a repeat of the past. Um, and one of the interesting things about voice and, and the way that we're using it to interact with these devices is that each of our voices are so unique that just by virtue of you speaking and us, you know, someone listening to that, we can pretty readily identify who's, who's, who's actually you know, uh, 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 saying those sentences. For example, when you talk to your mom, you recognize her pretty immediately. Yep. Um, so each of our voices you know, across the seven billion people you know, across the world is actually very unique to us. And so, you know, I think there's a really interesting opportunity to use some of the recent advances and things like voice biometrics to, in a very natural, friction-free way, bring strong forms of, you know, security and authentication to these types of environments. You know, so how do we avoid things like voice being spoofed, um, somebody recording my voice or something like that? Yeah. Um, you, you know, the, the honest answer is that you have to have countermeasures towards those things. And much like I said that, you know, uh, state-of-the-art in voice biometrics has improved, so has state-of-the-art in detecting those types of attacks on a voice bio engine. So if you look at a company like Pindrop, in our voice bio technology, which we call Deep Voice, <clears throat> it's actually a layered approach where we have, you know, certain engines that leverage really advanced machine learning called deep learning to recognize who's speaking but also have uh, uh, ones that will you know, determine if this is a replayed attack, replayed audio. Yeah. Um, I think one other interesting point there is that when you're really trying to protect something that's you know, a high security driven use case, um, modern security best practices are always to have a layered approach. Mm -hmm. um, and so we get into things like multi-factor authentication. Um, and you know some circumstances maybe single factor is fine but other ones when you know you have these high security use cases you really want to layer in, layer in additional factors so if you look at multi-factor authentication it usually historically has been reduced to something you are in our case it might be voice which we're talking about <clears throat> they often talk about something you have as well so that may be you know a trusted device like my phone here um, and if we can very seamlessly come, you know, bring together these multiple factors to have a layered defense against you know, the various types of attacks that creative people now, now kind of pursue, um, I think we can confidently secure these types of you know, more sensitive interactions. Not everyone has been successful trying to tackle this. So if you think about where some of your competitors have had challenges or what's made Pindrop succeed versus other companies in really securing voice. I, I think it's the accuracy of our technology and how effective it is at one, you know, identifying the bad activity and bad actors um, from a fraud detection standpoint in, in the voice channel and then from a, an authentication standpoint really doing it in a way that doesn't introduce a lot of friction to the end user. Um, we'll talk, we talk a lot about, you know, making it be, you know, there so they know it but almost, you know, passive in a sense that, um, they, they know that they're being you know, authenticated, but aren't having to answer a lot of questions or you know, give out passwords. So, I mean, I really think we've been successful because of how um, effective you know, our capabilities are, but also doing them in a way that um, doesn't really burden the user. It's interesting, isn't it? Because you've actually got the two ends of the spectrums. You've got the consumer that gives everything away for free, exactly. and you've got the financial institution that gives nothing away. Right. They are very rigorous, right? I mean, at the end of the day, what when we talk to large financial organizations um, or healthcare companies, 
they're, they have to optimize for security, but they're also trying to optimize for customer experience. And the thing is, when you're engaged in this kind of dialogue, um, you know, we're already speaking. And if you can leverage voice from an authentication standpoint in a seamless way, it's just a much better customer experience. You have, you know, a happier consumer at the end of the day. So, I mean, from that perspective, yeah, we're seeing um, uh, rapid adoption of voice biometrics, both internationally here in the U.S., across the financial sector, healthcare sector, insurance sector, um, from both a fraud detection standpoint, as well as, you know, for trying to authenticate who's interacting um, with those environments, so. Yeah, which I think is then a perfect bridge to the physical security world. Chris, thank you for joining us. We're really excited to be, to have um, Pindrop as part of Allegiant Ventures. Great to see the growth you're going to have, and thanks for all your insights on this. Yeah, no, likewise, John. Really appreciate it. Always great chatting, so thanks.